Hip hop stars, rival gangs, tractor stunts, and tug of wars. Welcome to the world of Indian tractor culture. Now, if you've been around social media for any period of time, you probably have seen some of the crazy videos that come with the Indian tractor world. Today, I wanna to unpack this and understand a little bit more about what makes Indian tractor culture so unique. Different cultures around the world celebrate the humble tractor in many different ways. I've often wondered, what is the driver behind each area and their specific means? No one will ever beat the Americans when it comes to the sheer excitement, brilliance, and tantalizing tractor pulls where thousand horsepower tractors compete against each other for ultimate superiority. Then we have the humble tractor collectors often seen in the UK and Australia. The Europeans have their high speed tractor plowing competitions to ultimately see who is the best. But then we come to India, where there seems to be a blend between tractor culture and the almost Japanese car scene blinged out machines. When I heard of one of the biggest hip hop stars in the world was shot dead, was also a massive tractor collector, I thought, let's have a look and unpack this a little bit further. From hip hop stars to regional farmers, the tractor has a cult-like status in India. But to understand where we are today, we need to unpack where it started. So post-independence from Great Britain, India was starting to try and transform its farming practices and increase its mechanisation, as seen in other countries around the world. In 1951, it was said there were less than 9,000 tractors covering the entire continent of India. Fast forward to the 1960s, India would produce her first domestically manufactured tractor. Now, today, India is one of the powerhouses in global tractor manufacturing. In fact, in 2023, over 980,000 tractors were produced in India, according to TMA. Yet today, less than half of India's farmland is mechanized, so there are still further opportunities for growth. However, of the market, there are five major manufacturers that dominate 80% of tractor consumption in India. And of those, Mahindra accounts for the large share. Over 41% of domestic market is covered by Mahindra made tractors. Punjab can widely be argued as the center for tractor culture in India. This small area has one of the highest levels, high saturation of mechanization in India. In fact, while it only has 2% of India's farming area, it accounts for 18% of domestic tractor sales. In this area, locals have always seen motorcycles, guns, motor vehicles as an almost sign of status. And this has traveled over into the idea of tractors also being a status symbol. So what happens in any culture when something is deemed to be a status symbol? Everyone tries to either have the best, the biggest, or the brightest, which leads to a level of competition. Further to this, when you have younger people and people who have lack of experience and skill, you end up in almost a boiling pot of people pushing the limits, which is why we see things like highly dangerous stunts being performed by almost amateur people, why we have machines being overloaded and overworked and damaged, 
And because we have high access to technology, we're lucky enough that this can be shared to us around the world. As entertaining as it is, we must also remember it is quite dangerous. But nothing can be more dangerous than a rival gang. Sidhu Muswala is one of India's most prominent and famous rap or hip hop stars. At the time of his passing, he had over 14 million followers on Instagram and had a music catalogue that is widely known across Indians around the world. Now, he was the son of a farmer and he had his own little tractor, a place where he would say would bring him peace and relaxation. His HMT 5911 had a very unique paint job. Then, after his passing, his tractor became almost like a cult-like personality in and among itself, with young Indians today trying to replicate the colors of his tractor or aspiring to own such a tractor. Now, using his status, Sidhu would often be seen at protests and supporting the needs of farmers in regional areas. But not many other places in the world will you see one of the world's famous rappers or hip hop stars rolling around in a tractor in a farm. I don't think we would see Drake doing this tomorrow. So in, in summary, I still don't know how to unpack our friends across the pond. They are probably better at cricket than they are at utilizing tractors, but that will only further develop. Because as I have said, most of the country is yet to have solid mechanization like we've seen in other areas around the world. With the biggest population on earth and a lot of mouths to feed, we're only gonna see this further and grow and grow. So while we'll have a lot of, uh, a lot of media to keep us entertained, there's a lot more yet to come. Ultimately, India will remain a force for tractor production. And as I have said, tractor consumption domestically as the country becomes more and more mechanized and they are able to use tractors to increase their productivity and yields. But from what we have seen, if trends are continue, we are gonna see a lot more craziness coming out of our brothers and sisters from across the water. And I just hope that they are better at driving tractors than they are at playing cricket. Thank you for watching, goodbye.